Chasing down a state title. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Scott Gross. After being crowned CIF champions for the second straight year, the Palo Verde Yellow Jackets girls basketball team now find themselves in the state tournament with another title in reach, culminating in a home game tonight to open the state tournament. Let's go to it. Feeling the buzz in a packed house at Palo Verde High School. The San Diego Section Division Four champs hosting Bishop Diego in the first round. First quarter, PV down a bucket. Bailey Johnson with the precision pass to Mary Jane and Degnino. And she lays it in to get the Jacks on the board. On the other end, a few trips down. Lily Simonon gets the tough basket to go. Cardinals back in front. Now a couple of Charlotte Degnino free throws would keep it close for PV, but here's the beginning of a huge run for Bishop. Huge triple from Jaylee Cordonado. The buzzer sends the Jackets down eight into the second, and that would lead to a 14-0 run for Bishop until this. Mary Jane doing her thing from deep in a big three to stop the bleeding. Next trip down, Ruby Felix with nobody on her. Well, might as well just take it to the cup herself for two. The Yellow Jackets would cut the deficit a bit, but go down a half by 16. A late half, second half surge cut the deficit in half, but was not enough as the Yellow Jacket season comes to a close in the state tournament. Cole Johnson was there for it all and standing by with head coach Irma Gonzalez. Scott, after an incredible run in back-to-back -back CIF titles, the road has come to an end for the Palo Verde Yellow Jackets girls hoops team. I'm now joined by coach Irma Gonzalez and after this one, 53-40 uh, the final, they fall to Bishop Diego here in the first round of the CIF Division 5 state tournament. Coach, obviously tough um, going in that locker room and having that conversation that the season's over, but you just told me a few moments ago you guys accomplished so much and you're proud of them. Yeah, super proud of our girls. You know, we won 21 games, 21 games. I don't think our girls team has won more than 17, 18 games in a long time. So back-to-back -back division champs, back-to-back -back league champs, 21 games we won, and these girls, they're just, they're awesome, man. They love each other, they, also, they, they, they listen to us, they believed in us, and they believe in each other. Now, what was the message in the locker room from, from you and the coaching staff? That we love them. We love them. They have nothing to be ashamed about. Just be proud of themselves. We've had a great season. You know, we tried our best out here, and we gave it our all and fell short, but but to be proud of them. We love them and to take this with them, take this championship season with them and to always look back and, and pass it forward, give it back to the other girls. Right, and at the end of this, obviously this season coming to an end, but so much positivity. And at the end of the day, when these seniors leave and when next year, when that group is done, they're gonna walk away with at least two CIF titles. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's that's a lot to say for these girls. I mean, to have one championship in 2015, we had two back-to-back. -back. So a handful of these girls will have two championships back-to-back. -back. That's a lot. That's, and I told them at the beginning, their banner, their name will always be on this banner. Bring their kids in here and show them who their mama is. 53-40, the final Palo Verde season comes to an end, and it puts a wrap on the winter sports season. Reporting in Palo Verde, Cole Johnson. Scott, back to you. Thank you, Cole. Yeah, it's a wrap because the two Imperial teams, they also lost tonight. Uh, news out of Santa Clarita. Uh, Imperial girls basketball season comes to an end. They lose on the road to Hart. 59-43. Lady Tigers finish with a record of 26-6. and Boys team also suffering the same fate, dropping on the road against North. The boys losing 83-55. Tigers finish their season 20-9. and Nonetheless, impressive season from both squads, especially the boys, after they took home their first San Diego Section Division Four title on Friday. Congrats to everybody. Over to Doan Field. Let's talk baseball. Yeah, spring season's here. Criminal baseball coming in against the Peoria Panthers. You've been looking for their well, fifth win on the year. Right now they're 4-0 coming in. They've been perfect to start. We begin top of the four scoreless ball game. Rafa Asivas on the hill and gets Hunter Clark to ground over to Kevin Garcia. Throws to first for the putout. Next batter, Peoria Zachary Keller will send this back to sender. Base hit, one on, nobody out for the Panthers as the Cives gives up a base knock later in the inning. Check out the breaking ball. <laughs> the Panthers' Joshua Holiday uh, just bought a ticket, strikes out looking two down. Panthers would get another hit, so men on first and second, two away. Peoria's Eloy Nieves grounds out to Eli Lujan. Crims get out of the jam. And Yuma would end up maintaining the shutout as their offense goes off. And they score four runs in the six 
Masivis credited with the win. The Crims are off to a scorching start. They're 5-0 on the year, and that's all the time we have for sports.